Chapter 5 The Buzzsaw Joe's Apartment, February 20th, 1945 Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Okay, so we are here. Chapter 5. Drive to Freddy's to meet Joe for lunch. So last time, um, we completed the jewelry store heist. And, uh, you know what? Let's try this. Oh, this looks good. So, um, and we came back to Joe's apartment here and slept. And now we need to go to Freddy's. So let's go there. Okay. So I've been playing Mafia 2 Definitive Edition for some time now. Oh. Fuck you, stupid broad. But Get the I... hell back here. If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. And you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Oh, we are starting to fright. There you go. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. 50 dollars? Wait, did she just... Give me fifty dollars. Um, okay, I guess. And I get his car as well. This is his car, right? Yeah. Okay, good for me. Um. So let's see. Um. I think I did not welcome you guys in this video as I do in the other. So, yeah, welcome back to Mafia 2, Definitive Edition. A lot of things happen suddenly, so I could not say that. Uh, well, welcome anyway. Let's go this way, look at how these people drive, you know. Let's, uh, let's see, how far is it? Oh, it's just here, right? So... And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are liking this series, uh, the Mafia series. Um, I really liked Mafia 1 and now Mafia 2 as well. I really love this game. The remastered version with the new graphics, it's so good. The gameplay is good as well. Let's see. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let's get in here. Uh, no one's here. I guess Take we need to go look. upstairs. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> 
And I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you was ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... Don't. Uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. <laughs> and is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. We could get you anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Okay, a lot happened there. Pick up the hardware from Harry in Kingston. So that's, uh, oh, that's very far from here. Okay, let's get out of this place first. So this was the first time, I guess, we finally saw so long, people, you know, from the family. Let's go here. There you go. And uh, I guess I'll just skip to that part of the video, right? Because I'm alone, I guess there won't be any dialogue involved here that you will be missing out on. So let's just skip to that part of the video that where I go to Harry's shop. So yeah, see you there. Okay, so we are almost here now. Let's see, we go up here. And then just right here. Oh, I see. So let's just park the car here. Let's, okay, let's park it here. There you go. Now, I'm guessing we go here. 
Aha, uh -huh. Army Navy. Okay. Let's see. Who's there? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Okay, load the MG42 into the van outside. Very well. Oh, that's heavy. Look at me going with that. It's so slow. Um, anyway. See you around, Vito. I'll see you around, Harry. Thank you very much for the gift. Oh, look at this. It's just going slowly. Um, so... I see. I need to put it in this van here? Drive the van safely to meet Henry and Joe. Okay. Okay, very well. So where are we going? Aha, uh -huh, here. So that's Sand Island. So we just need to... See you there. Okay, so we are almost here now. Let's see. This should be the place. Let's just park here. Apartment 233, Misery Lane, two hours later. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, 
He sent me to America and got me a job working for Commendi. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Okay. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Okay. Now we need to go and chase him into the distillery. Shooting. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Alright, no time, Vito. You shoot like my sister. Move it, Vito. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. Back me up, Vito. All right, Vito, here we go. You okay? I'll cover you, move it. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. You're fucking dead. Let's go! Chop, chop! Come on. There you go. Oh, that's a good guy. Oh, fuck! Watch out! <laughs> oh, I hate... What the fuck is that? Damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of fools. Come on. Way to go, Vito. There you go. Okay, before we go there... Uh, Vito, come on. Nothing here? Okay. Move. Pick up shotgun. Uh, yeah, why not? Back me up, Vito. What are you scared, asshole? Oh, no! No! Alright, show me, Vito. Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Come on. The dust. Come on. There you go. Back me up, Vito. All right, Vito, here we go. Way to go, Vito. All right, Vito, go, go, go. You shoot. Come on. Let's go, Vito. There you go. Nice. Okay, hit the button, Vito. Where is the button?
What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on a job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Shakes. They don't do something. You're the expert here. Ooh. You shoot like my sister. I shot all of them. Come on, Porky's upstairs. Uh, let's get some of these guns right here. Okay. That's better. Nice. Do you have any Come on. Oh, come on, really? Oh, God. How did I die from that? Oh, really? Again? We got them all. We're starting again? Where are we going? Okay, this is going in. <coughs> got you covered, man. Move. <coughs> You're fucking dead. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. <coughs> All right, showtime, Vito. Move it, Vito. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You know what? You're I thought they would. Go, 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 uh... We're coming for you, Porky. I'm going in. All right, Vito, here we go. How oh, another one bites the dust. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. Come on, let's go, chop chop. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Let me just try to do this faster this time. And let's hope that, you know. Okay. There you go. Let's go for a faster kill. We gotta move. I'm going in. Come on. Oh, they're dead? Okay, that's good. Nice. 
I at least know this time like okay, where they the are, button, right? Vito. How are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Okay. Here they come! Going in, they got armies. Shit, there's an army of them. Nice. Let me get Come your Thompson here. There you go. And this time I'm gonna get the pistol out. Nice. Are you scared yet, boy? Oh, fight like a man, boy. There you go. <laughs> Don't kill me. Please. I got one. You should have thought about your I, wife I was before. Don't kill me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's bleeding all Son over. Son of a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, 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 You're heavier than you look. The fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Okay, I'm guessing there'd be more people coming up here. I'm pretty sure about this because these kind of missions, you know, escorting hey, someone out. This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. Hey, if I don't need to get pissy. I'm the one bleeding at that here. Do we just go down? No. Let's go, Please. Vito. I I don't want to die. What the fuck are you waiting for? Yeah, how do we go? Just here? Let's go, Vito. Andiamo. What the fuck are you waiting for? Uh oh. Ah, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Come on. Peekaboo. Okay, 
That's done. We go this way. Gotta hurry, again. the fire spread. Jinx. What do you mean, you lucky bastard? Shit! <laughs> oh, find a way out. Uh, okay, we cannot go that side, so not here. Go through here. No one here. Alright. Oh god. I'm guessing now we just have to outrun the cops and get him to a hospital or the oh, doctor. Fuck. Make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I knew it. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Uh. Okay, let's see um, where I have to go. Of course, it's so far. Okay, so I will. Um, you know, I'll not skip to that part because, well, it's part of the mission. So let's see what happens. Also, it says drive to El Greco's and Henry will take damage if you crash. Well, great. Let's see. We cannot crash then. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Really? Really? Uh, well, let's remove the speed limiter and let's just put the pedal to the metal. Let's hope I can make it in time. You know, come on, can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast in enough. Of our just relax. We're taking him down. I got a hole in my leg. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why did I? The size Go. of a fucking golf ball and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Hey Vito, step on it. Henry sweat like a whore <gasps> in church back here. Okay. Don't we'll make me drive faster. You start as it. This is what I so did not us. want. Who is this guy? What guy? This guy you're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the okay. hell wouldn't Let's go we be able here? to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. It must be your diet. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Okay, so now we take a left. And yeah, it should be fine. Oh. Oh wait. We actually have to go right. That's fine then. Yeah, I think it's fine. If I actually turn on the um, limiter, speed limiter, I mean, it should be okay, maybe? Let's see. We go straight from here. And, okay. Going quite in the right direction now. Um, make a right here. This way. Let's 
sharp left here. And it should be right here. Let's see what happens. Vito there. That house. Park right in front. You are Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <sighs> All right. Okay. $2,000. That's a lot of money. So we have like $3,869.75. Great. Uh, you have the cash to repay your father's debt. Visit your sister. Uh-huh. That's nice. Let's see. So, let me just take this car. I mean, yeah, why not? And now uh, we go back. So, yeah, you know what? I'll just skip to that part of the video where we meet our sister. Okay, so we are here. Let's see. Meeting my sister here, right? Keep looking beautiful. Okay, this is where I'm we're meeting her? Oh no. Okay, we are meeting her near our house, I guess. Okay, good then. Let's see. Go here. I think it's been some time since I, you know, came home. That's nice, let's see. Uh, glassmaker, wait, it was somewhere here, right? Sellinger, Scaletta. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Yeah, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Okay, great. <laughs> see, this is so weird. It says go home. And I'm actually ho at my house here, at my apartment, and it says go home. And my home now is actually, you know, Joey's place. So, well, it is what it is. Come on, let's see. I think I'll just run there. Because it's uh, very near. It is near, right? Yeah. So, it feels a bit ironical that they tell you to go home when you are already home. But I can understand what it means. It also um, tells you about, you know, the symbolism, right? I feel like there's a symbolism here, like, it tells you to go home when you are already at your home and that actually means like, you know, your home is not your home anymore. Because uh, the line of work that you are doing, it's so not accepted. So you are kind of, you know, not so much welcome in your house itself. Uh, I don't know. That's a bit weird, right? So sad as well. Okay, now this is my home. Close the door and go sleep. I think that would be what we do. Let's just get some sandwich again. You know what? Let's get not beer. Let's get some Swift Cola. Why not? Yep, that puts my health full. 
let's sleep and that would be end of this mission so yeah thank you for watching this video with me you guys are the best audience ever thank you for all the love and support and i'll see you in the next video